The two Democratic candidates are neck and neck going into tomorrow's primary. Primary, our battleground tracker shows Bernie Sanders with a two-point lead. That is within the margin of error. Sanders is campaigning today in Wisconsin, while Hillary Clinton is in New York. That's the scene of their next primary, where our poll finds Clinton leading Sanders by 10 points. The candidates plan to hold a debate before the New York primary, but they can't agree when to meet. Sanders wants to have the debate early next week. The Clinton campaign says she is not available then. She offered to have it tonight or at the end of next week. The Sanders campaign argues Clinton is trying to avoid a large TV audience. Our Nancy Cordes has been out on the campaign trail covering both of these candidates this morning. She's here in Studio 57. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. So what's the real story? Yeah. The real story, <laughs> uh, shocker, is that these two have competing agendas. He <laughs> obviously wants as many people to watch as possible. He wants to show that he's on equal footing with Clinton in a state where he grew up, which she represented, while Clinton, uh, understandably, is not all that eager uh, to have him bashing her say on her Wall Street ties in the state How of Wall Street. How much momentum does Bernie Sanders have in New York? Well, you know, he'll be coming off a string of victories in Hawaii, in Idaho, in Alaska, possibly in Wisconsin tomorrow. And so it will look as if he's the comeback kid, even though it's still mathematically a big uphill climb for him to get to the nomination. Do you think the debate is going to happen? You know, Hillary Clinton says she wants to have it, but then you suggest having it tonight, the night of the NCAA playoffs. Or maybe uh, in the morning next week. Or in the morning next week. <laughs> Not that that isn't a great time yeah, that's to have right. any conversation. But do you ultimately think that it will happen before April 19th? I think it will because she can't appear uh, to look as if she's avoiding him or afraid of debating him. Uh, they both said that they've committed to a debate. The DNC says it's committed to a debate. So I think it will happen, even though it's clear that the Clinton camp didn't expect that they'd still have to be doing mm. debates like this this late in the primary season. Does the Clinton, Clinton campaign think that this primary has strengthened her or has weakened her and exposed weaknesses that perhaps they thought didn't exist? I think right now in the moment they feel uh, that it hurts to have Bernie Sanders continue to hit her on issues uh, that they didn't expect to have to defend her on, like her uh, record on fossil fuels and climate change. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, you know, look back at 2008 when uh, there was a very bitter fight between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama all the way to the end. People, as mm -hmm. they do now, were worried that perhaps her supporters mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to get behind him and then that turned out not to be a problem. She's also found out that she has some problem with certain constituencies. Absolutely, with young voters, for example. So uh, it was a it was a lesson to her and her campaign that they had work to do on that front. And you know, sometimes it doesn't hurt to have to be in a big fight with someone like Bernie Sanders. Yes, he's going after her, but probably not as ferociously as say Donald Trump would be. Well, they if she was up against him right Nancy, now. Nancy, they prided themselves on staying above the sniping that the Republicans are doing. Right. But he sat in that very seat last week and said she's not telling the truth. She says he's not. Telling the truth. I yeah. think it so shows that tempers, tempers start to fray, you know, anytime yeah. you've got a race that's going on for months. And in fact, there was a story in the New York Times today, I think, about how the Sanders campaign believes they made a mistake by not getting tougher with her mm -hmm. earlier. Right. Although, on the other hand, part of his brand, the reason people flocked to yeah. him was because they felt like he was a different kind of politician who didn't make those personal attacks. Thank mm -hmm. you, Nancy. You're welcome.